Welcome to Hello Experts, where we dive deeper into the fascinating world of transportation technology. In today's video, we are continuing our exploration of MacLev trends, and this time we will be focusing on an extraordinary series of trends that have captured the world's attention, the LO series trends in Japan. Get ready to witness the pinnacle of high-speed rail innovation as we delve into the captivating world of Japan's MacLev Tran technology. So without further ado, let's embark on this thrilling journey together. MacLev, short for Magnetic Levitation, is a train transportation system that utilizes two sets of electromagnets. One set repels and lifts the train off the track while the other set propels it forward, taking advantage of the absence of friction. These trains hover at an approximate height of 10 cm, which is approximately 4 inches above the track. The term MacLev encompasses both trains themselves and the dedicated railway system designed for magnetic levitation and propulsion. Unlike conventional trains, MacLev systems rely minimally on wheeled technology and are incompatible with traditional train network. The acronym MacLev refers to transportation systems that employ magnetic levitation designed for public use at speeds exceeding 270 miles per hour. There are only six operational MacLev trains today, three in China, two in South Korea, and one in Japan. According to the International MacLev Board, several MacLev research programs are currently underway in China, with ongoing projects at Southwest Jiatong University in Chengdu, Tongji University in Shanghai, CRRC Tangshan, Chengchen Railway Vehicle Corporation, and Chengdu Aircraft Industry Group. Malaysia has made the decision to adopt MacLev technology for connecting important landmarks within the city, aiming to enhance business competitiveness against neighboring Singapore. The chosen system will be a monorail type MacLev developed in China. Germany has a rich history of research and development in both MacLev and Hyperloop systems. Although the United States currently does not have any operational MacLev trains, there are proposals to construct them in Pittsburgh and Las Vegas. China has emerged as a leading country in the development of MacLev technology. Despite starting later than Germany and Japan, China has made significant progress in the field through collaborative efforts between the universities and enterprises. Various other countries including Japan, India, Philippines, Denmark, among others have put forth proposals for the MacLev Fran projects. Japan's journey into the future of transportation continues with a remarkable ELO series. Building upon their success in MacLev technology, Japan is taking the next step in revolutionizing high-speed rail travel. The ELO series, also known as the L0 series, is a high-speed MacLev train currently being developed and tested by the Central Japan Railway Company. Its purpose is to be utilized on the Chushin Kansen railway line, which is currently under construction and will connect Tokyo and Osaka. The ELO series employs the SC MacLev system, which is a magnetic levitation technology developed in Japan. The construction of 14 pre production vehicles is being carried out by Mitsubishi Heavy Industries and Nippon Shario, a subsidiary of JR Central. On April 21, 2015, a seven car train from the LO series set a new land speed record for rail vehicles, reaching an impressive speed of 603 km per hour. The planned maximum operational speed for these trains is 500 km per hour. This high speed capability will result in significantly reduced travel times such as 40 minutes between Tokyo and Nagoya and 1 hour 7 minutes between Tokyo and Osaka. The yellow series train set feature and cars that measure 28 meters in length and accommodate 24 passengers. To enhance aerodynamics and minimize tunnel noise, the nose extends an additional 15 meters. Intermediate cars, on the other hand, are 24.3 meters long and have a passenger capacity of 68 each. When combined, the train reaches an impressive length of 299 meters and can carry up to 728 passengers. The Yellow series doesn't require a driver. However, to account for potential system failure, each end car is equipped with a front-facing camera for remote operation. 
The superconducting magnets in the boogies are manufactured by Toshiba and Mitsubishi Electric, while Nippon Shario handles the construction of cars with Mitsubishi Heavy Industries having been involved in the past. The first generation vehicle series LO started running in 2013 and the improved version of the train has been tested and is planned to be used for commercial services on the Chushin Kansen railway line between Tokyo and Osaka by 2027. The train has undergone several tests including endurance and speed tests and has set several speed and distance records. That's all for today. I hope you have enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.